Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at a new feature in Add Location, which allows you to position existing models into the location specifically where they're supposed to be before hitting import. So this is kind of a specific workflow, but it's a cool feature in Add Location. So uh, right now, this is what month are we in? August, and uh, we're in 2025. And uh, this version just came out, this, this edition just came out in Add Location. So uh, it's pretty cool. I want to show it to you guys. All right, so I have a model here. This is a model we, we did as part of our uh, live model we did last week. Um, just a house with a sunroom on the back. And I want to see what the real shadows would be like for this rather than just kind of playing with this. So I'm going to go ahead and add use Add Location to put this where it's supposed to be. And we'll see what the actual shadows look like on the back here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to hit Add Location. Um, so this is going to come up with a location. Uh, this is just a park uh, in the town I live in. So we're going to go ahead and add it into this park because it's nearby. Um, you'll see that because this is a new feature at this point, so it's actually showing me a little flag. It's called it's it's ruining my thunder here by calling out the the thing we're gonna play with, but still works. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off. So this nothing else here has changed. How we add location, this is all the same. If I have a specific address, I can type it in here. If I want to navigate around and try to find it, I can do that. Uh, in this case, the thing I'm gonna do is hit show model. So what this is new is give me like a shadow version of the model I'm working on. So you can see it's most of what that model is. It is kind of giving me a translucent uh, view of it. So it's not showing all the detail and I can grab it and I can move it around. I can hit grab this little handle here and turn it this way. Say this is supposed to be like in line with, I don't know what this is, a concrete slab or something, but uh, I'm going to put that right there. Say so that's the way it's supposed to be, that's where it's going to be built. And uh, if I have an exact offset from north, I could put that in there. Um, but yeah, that lets me move this around inside the model and I can actually see what direction it's pointing. So I can fine tune that if I want to. I like to, I like to grab it by the handle, but then slide it way out. It's going to give me a little bit finer touch on, on rotating that model. Make it so it's cement, or, uh, even to this right here. The rest of the process to import is the same. So I said geolocation. All right, that looks good. You can see, did you see that pop, that jump? My model jumped because I did rotate where this was at. And then if I hit add context, of course, this is the same as we did in the last video. I can just kind of make this a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm just going to get some context stuff around there and say import. It's going to download my maps. Uh, I'm good. I'm going to close that. And then what you'll see is there's my model. Let's see, it's been rotated. Uh, solar North, that orange line was across the green line before because that's the direction I modeled it. But now when I look at these uh, shadows here, this is realistic to where it actually is. So if I come here to uh, the month we're in, we're towards the end of August right now. And I can see, okay, yeah, that's about right. At, at noon, it's gonna be hitting right there like that. Yep, that's perfect. So. Kind of a nice way to get it put into the model when you, you know, don't have to come in and start changing, just flipping your model around after the fact or rotate it. You can actually do it in that scene. So this was just kind of a, a model I had laying around. I dropped it into a fictional location. But another spot that this helps, this comes in very useful, is if I'm dropping a real model into uh, an ad location. So let's go hop into this model right here. All right. So here I have a real building. So this is not like, uh, you know, uh, something I made. I, I can't take credit for this, this specific model. Of course, this is a model of a new building. This is the John Wilson building in Washington, DC. So uh, I figured let's, let's go ahead and drop this where it actually belongs and see how that works out. Let's go to file and we're going to add location again. I am going to put in the uh, exact location of where this goes. This is not in my town of Longmont, Colorado. So I'm going to come in here, just clean this out and paste its actual location in there. And ooh, look at that, look at that building right there. So now this is really cool because I can see here's the ghost because show models turned on. If I turn it off, it'll disappear. But with 
show model turned on, I can actually drag this and put it right over this model. It's almost square. I'm going to need a little bit of rotating. Um, so you can see that there I can come in. So I don't know if this ever happens to you, but sometimes like I feel like the snapping gets a little bit weird. So sometimes I'll take a model and, and really rotate. I just would in, in modeling too. And then that gives me the ability to you know, zoom out a little bit more too. Get that handle up there. There we go. We get that back to square with that model, scoot it around as I need to, by the corners. There we go. That's right on top of the existing model. Now if I hit set geolocation uh, and I can add context to this, we'll zoom out a little bit, we'll get some context buildings. Come this way, we'll come this way, and then I will hit import. That's going to go ahead and place it, and you'll see that my model then is right on top of that. So this is the context model. This is the this model right here is the one that it brought in as context because it does already exist here. So, and I can see the other context models, but you can see mine falls right over top of that other model. Um, I might need to do a little bit of you know, fine tuning and scoot this around a little bit, but you can see where that falls right on there. If you do this and you're in this situation where it's imported this context model over the top of the model you're actually working on, you might have to, you know, get rid of that extra model. When it does import that, it imports it on a locked group. So if you pick on it, it's red. So if I double click it, nothing happens. If I right click, uh, I can't edit it, but I can hit unlock. So I'm going to unlock this and then double click. I'm going to come in here and grab, double click, grab this one, delete it. And then I can click out twice to exit. And if I want to, I can right click and lock it again, but that's going to get rid of that redundant uh, context model and just show my model overhead. Now, if I wanted to, I could come in here and I can grab this and I can fine tune by rotating this or moving it or, you know, just seem a little bit off on that. So I could come in here and I could do this and just kind of rotate this way a little bit, maybe scoot it one direction or the other. But I can, so I can fine tune that, but uh, in general, that's going to get me a lot closer, a lot quicker because I can use that add location feature to get that model so it's right there where it should be. And of course, that makes it much easier to do things like uh, you know, change my, my, oops, wrong, wrong slider, uh, change my shadows and check how that's going to sit in there. And those should be realistic to the location uh, where this model is at. So there you go. Um, adding the model in during add location, new feature. You should definitely check that out. So one of the big things about this feature is it really is only useful if you have a model beforehand. If you're going in and you're starting and you're just grabbing an empty spot, pulling it in, you're a model on top of it, then you're not going to, that that button to add model is going to take your face me and drop it into some add location or something like that. And that's it. Um, so if you are starting from scratch, there's probably an argument to be made that you could go in and create maybe the footprint of your building first uh, and then, then add location so you can, you know, figure out exactly what direction it's going to be. So you're not in there messing with it and turning it afterwards. Makes it a little bit simpler. It makes the, the shadows more accurate to where you'll actually be building as opposed to like I like, you know, just a ballpark based on a time zone, which is not not super accurate. So uh, if you use that location at all, check it out. Uh, like I said, might change your workflow a little bit by modeling beforehand rather than modeling afterwards. But uh, like I said, a, a quick a quick outline of your building and then a push pull is all you like to do to get that mass that you can turn inside of add location. So check that out. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Did you like that feature? Have you tried it? Uh, do you have specific questions about it? Do you think there's another topic that would make a good video and we should do that on this, on this channel? Uh, if so, leave it all in the comments. If you like that video, click like, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. But most importantly, like I just said, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have a different idea for a video. Uh, we like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.